Hey guys, welcome to my next YouTube video. I am back again. Um, what is this, number five? I don't know. I lost count. Um, but welcome back to my next YouTube video. Uh, thank you for tuning in. So, today, first of all, welcome to my new room setup. Maybe I'll do a uh, full reveal once it's done. Anyway, welcome to my new video. Today, we are going to be reviewing the ColourPop Sweet Talk Pressed Powder Palette, and that's this one. I got it a few weeks ago at Ulta. Finally ready to review it. Um, don't mind my really bold brows. I did them a little intense today. We'll see how that goes. Um, and I have, you know, nothing else on my face, but that's why I look a little crazy. First of all, the packaging is hollow. So that's pretty cool. The packaging is really cute. I saw this at Ulta, and I wasn't going to buy it. And then I swatched it and I was like, oh, I need to buy that. <laughs> um, it's super, super exciting. Springtime is around the corner. It's time to start bringing out those peaches, those pinks, all those fun colors. Dark and moody is over. It's spring now, okay? Especially here in Texas. It's hot today. Have a little bit. Got this at Target. Cute shirt, right? If you don't like tie-dye, maybe not, but I love tie-dye, so this is cute. And I think it kind of goes with today. Um, so this is the actual inside packaging. I like how it says the shade names on the back for you, so it, like you can still see what you're using. Um, so let's crack this boy open. All right. This is so cool. Like, points alone just for the packaging. So let's see what the colors are called. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them really quick and then we'll talk about how I feel. Okay guys, so we swatched those bad boys. Trying to see how they are. Um, they swatched fine. I think I remember them swatching them better in the store, but maybe, I don't know. But, so we'll go ahead and start. I kinda did kinda crazy like so we're starting from this side in up here and this is catch me the this color that color we're going bottom up I swatched it really weird but that's catch me it's pretty pretty um sometimes I don't really like those colors on my skin tone just because it's like weird I don't know it makes me feel like I look washed out or like sickly <laughs> um, and then the next one's really pretty it's called side to side and it's the next sparkly color up right here. Then we have Garden Date, which is this color right here. This one's really, really pretty. I think I might work with that one today. Uh, then we have Work It, which is this like uh, kind of orangey nude tone. And then we have the glitters. The glitters are kind of interesting. On the finger, I kept it on this one. It's very like, oh yes, glitter work you know then when I swatched it was kind of iffy but um we have it right here they honestly they kind of look hollow I'm not sure but they kind of look hollow I just can't really tell too well but this one is prima drama and it's like sparkly it's just kind of hard to see um just you know sometimes glitters are kind of weird the next one is meadow oh Stellar cameo by Gweenie. There she goes. She She's not supposed to be on the bed, but she does whatever she wants, so there goes my setup. Um <laughs> Um, yeah, so, and then the next one is this orangey called Meadow. After that we have the other glitter called Early Morning, Rural Southern. Um, and then the last one is Dream Maker, which is this one. So there are some of the colors, and this had a lot of colors. So I have to do my other arm, and it's on this side. This bottom row, this is a real good comfortable row because it's not too super, super wild um let's start from well, i must have rubbed it on something but let's start from this one's properly done from the top this is i c y m i don't know what that means 
you youthfuls might know. I don't know what that means. The next color we have here is Melody. Very pretty, very shiny. Um, this one is West Side. Uh, very cute. Uh, names. The names are really cute. I will say that. And then last we have last we have Feel Free, which is this brown. It got kind of smudged. But um, yeah, so far so good. I think they swatched okay. The glitters are kind of iffy, but we'll have to see how they apply. So let me wipe these boys off and then we'll get started. So I do prime my eyes. I use the primer potion from Urban Decay. Just a little one. I'm not super big on this, but it helps with creasing. I just wish it helped more with like color canceling. Okay, let's get started. All right, we're gonna start in the crease with Work It. Um, I'm using my Kabuki brush from my Ipsy video. Love that brush. I think it's so good. I use it all the time. Um, then we're gonna go in with Meadow also on the crease, just a little bit lower. Um, I really like this color because it's really buildable. It's actually, it's pretty pigmented, but if you want it to pop more, it's really easy to make it happen. As you can see, I mean, it's just, it's just getting on there. It's not playing any games. Um, here's another cute little cameo of Gweenie sleeping because she's just so adorable. <laughs> um, and then we're going in with the color I See Why Am I, um, even deeper into the crease, kind of towards the outer V almost, but it's the outer crease too. I don't want it too deep in, um, just to keep the texture on the outside or the depth, I mean. So then on the actual outer V, we're going to go in with Feel Free and a Real Techniques shading brush. Um, I really like this color because it's not too warm or too cool. It's it's a pretty good color. I, I think this palette's going to work really well with springtime. Definitely brings the mood of spring. Um, so yeah, so just more blending. Again, this palette's really blendable, really easy to work with. I actually really enjoyed it. It wasn't very hard. Um, so then after I blend, I do a little bit of a cut crease, do a little bit of messing up, but that's okay. Um, I'll use the color Dream Maker on a Morphe M124 and just pack that on there. Um, once I've done that, go back and blend some more, mixing ICYMI and Feel Free, just to make that little transition a little bit easier and smoother, not too harsh. And then just blending some more. I really enjoy blending, <laughs> apparently. I mean, I don't enjoy it, but I really, you know, I do it a lot. Um, so then with my finger, I'm going to go in with side to side. Um, that color is just so pretty. I, I tried to use a brush there, the Morphe one, but I feel like it didn't pack on the shimmers as well. So th sometimes, you know, your finger is your best tool. So I went ahead and just did that, you know, just slapped that on real quick and I made it, in my opinion, a lot prettier. So then after that, I'm just going to do some liner. Looks pretty easy, right? Just, you know, to get, keep the ball rolling because after liner, I did put on glitter glue. Last time, I didn't put glitter glue. This time, I learned. <laughs> I put glitter glue, and that helped me a lot. And um, just used a random Morphe brush and put that liner on top of the other liner, and it actually turned out pretty easy. So I'm just going to finish up my mascara and my face, and then um, we'll be back to discuss what I thought of the palette. So I'll be right back. Alright guys, so like an hour later. <laughs> um... I don't know if literally or figuratively I've lost track of time. Um, side note, I did one of the face masks. I did the ginger face mask from the last video and my skin feels really happy. This palette is actually pretty good. I, um, I had some issues with like, it was kind of patchy. It's still kind of patchy in this corner right here, but I don't, I think that's my eye or the primer because this eye turned out fine. But, um, I used a lot of the colors. Um, I used quite a bit of colors. I did use my Norvina for my inner corner and brow bone, but that's my usual thing. I wanted something bright enough. Um, yeah, so I used, I mean, these two, these two, this one, and these three. So only like two or three colors that I didn't use. Um, I thought it was pretty good. I mean, for the price, it's pretty good too. I tried to do the glitter eyeliner thing again. It's kind of weird, a little chunky, but um, it's just maybe not best for that, but I just wanted to try it. Um, so yeah, my lips are a little loud too. We're just gonna be loud today, which is a lot of color. Yeah, so um, I really liked it, and I can't, I don't know if my lashes look crazy too, because I actually used the Fenty 
mascara from the other video and I also learned a trick for it I only use it for my upper lashes and for my lower lashes I use my um, roller lash anyway anyway so um, yeah I give this palette probably an 8.5 out of 10 or 9 the glitters were kind of weird for a second um, they swatched kind of weird they weren't really I mean another glitters but I've seen some cool glitters that like they're like whoa you know um but it was pretty cool pretty easy to work with the colors are really cool the color side to side the sparkly color that you have to it's just kind of like transparent it's like just glittery in a weird way it's not a glitter but it's just like transparent kind of like glitter would be but i actually kind of like that you can put that onto the other lash the other color really easily um yeah so actually i'm gonna just have it a nine out of ten i think it's pretty good i think the colors worked well I think they're really fun blended pretty well um, yeah I think it was a pretty good buy um, I would hope it would be I usually like ColourPop shadows but you never know right you never know um, but yeah so packaging a1 uh, you know mattes a1 metallic slash like kind of just shinier ones shimmery ones a1 glitter a2 but it's still not that bad um it's still pretty good the glitter was still really pretty um i like that they gave you two glitters and then also like just a shimmery shade it wasn't like all matte two glitters all shimmers no glitter you know it was cool um so yeah i really liked it um i i think i'm okay with today's look i might the lips a little bit loud but i gotta you know, we gotta go for it. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks for sticking around. Thank you for watching it. Thank you for making it this far. It always, you know, all to all my friends and everyone, I really appreciate that you guys are watching me do this stuff just for fun. Not like you'll ever buy these things. Or if you do, there you go. Um, but yeah, so I hope you have a wonderful week. Enjoy spring. It's coming up pretty soon. Happy leap day. It's leap day today. Happy leap day. Um, I hope that everyone has a wonderful week, wonderful day, wonderful night, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. I hope it's wonderful. And thank you much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.